What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Clay Wong and in today's video guys we have something very exciting in store for you. We finally got in the S15 road registered and ready here in Victoria and guys this is the car. If you guys have been staying tuned with the project you'll know everything about this S15. I purchased it from Sydney, drove it down all the way. It is my dream specification in every single way shape and form and guys it has come together so well so far in this build. It is still in its first iteration as you can see the Dash YT 37 SLs and you've obviously got the RE71 RS semi slicks and we've got a damaged aero bar that we're in the process of fixing that's gonna go replace the OEM one and there's so many more things on the horizon so if you guys want to see more S15 content hit that subscribe button but in today's video we're gonna be taking out on its first maiden voyage but first things first guys we are gonna be ripping off the New South Wales registration as much as I love ETR 14Z and all all the memories that I've had in this form and with these plates it's time to finally retire them if you watched a recent video as well you would have seen that I picked up a set of signature plates and they are super super cool because I've got a matching set so this is x96 that's going on the s15 just a little tidbit of what this will look like once we rip off these plates oh my lord oh my god guys can't wait to dive straight into this video Let's back on these plates. Alright guys, that took so much longer than I expected. I have never actually mounted signature plates before and as a result, I wasn't really familiar with doing so. And so, guys, it is finally ready X96 on the rear. How does that compare to the ETR 14Z? Let's run up to the front. This is such a clean look. Alright guys, we are finally here at the destination. If you guys kind of remember this area, I used to do many, many car reviews out here. And now my S15 spec car Sylvia, I just butchered that, but you guys get the gist. The car is now here and it's looking nice, tidy, a little bit dirty. But we're gonna give it our first little squirt here in Melbourne. Thinking of doing like a review style and have the suction cup mounts just positioned and everything, but I think it's a little bit too formal for that kind of video. This car isn't really ready to be reviewed in that kind of sense. So I think a one-on-one -on -one casual talk, just a feel and first drive essentially with the Sylvia is what we're gonna be doing today in today's video. But I came across Tio, he just pulled up behind me and he is the owner of this RX-8. I actually met Tio at an absolute enthusiast meet just the other week. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And he was pretty much saying how he's always in this area as I was cruising up Tia was following me and then <laughs> here we are now. So he helped I'm me sorry, with bro. my thumbnail and he's going to be jumping in the S15 with me, which is going to be pretty sick. Have you been in an oh, S15? This is the first time I'm wrapped. <laughs> actually? <laughs> yeah, okay, actually. sick, sick. It's going to be pretty cool to see his first reaction and what he thinks about the car. But guys, check out his RX-8 really quick. Just a sick little rotary. Respect, it's all good. <laughs> Do you plan on drifting the car as well? Yeah, that's what, actually what I'm trying to get into. That's going to be yeah. sick. Hopefully, maybe turbo along the lines eventually. One day. <laughs> that would be super cool, man. So, okay, let's see how the Sylvia goes. So, let's jump in, man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. If you don't mind just holding the camera. Yeah, and feel free to talk as well. Yeah, all right. I'll try to keep quiet. I don't want to ruin your Oh, no, that's okay. I'll, I'll ask you for your feedback. <laughs> okay. So, Tio is behind the camera now. Honestly, huge shout out to Tio. So, if you guys want to check out some RX8 content, check out his Instagram. I'll be leaving it in the usual spot. You guys know where it is. But how does it feel in the uh, S15 Tio? Honestly, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of... So yes, my car has a very aggressive two-way diff. So it's going to be clunking a little bit. But I'd love to show you Tio's reaction a little bit later. So feel free to swing it around and show your face. <laughs> so with the S15, it is a little bit different to cars like the S2000 or maybe a 350 or even a Skyline of a similar era. It is a lot more raw, it's a lot more visceral and to me it just makes for a little bit more of a driver's car and from factory with the SR20 DET it makes a fair bit of power but very easily that engine can be tuned up with a front mount, a boost tee, 
power FC, whatever you want to do in terms of bumping up the ECU and the boost, this car is very, very responsive to just a small tune. But if you go down the route, doing a big turbo, doing all of these things that this car has, it makes 316 kilowatts of power with the factory front mount intercooler piping and it's been fully built, forged from head to bottom and it's got a Garrett GTX 28. But you've already seen the build breakdown of this car, it is quite extensive. We've currently got the car on wastegate pressure now, so this is about 200 kilowatts and uh, <laughs> I see Tio behind the camera and he's struggling to keep it together but let's just see how it goes. It feels pretty good. I've never taken the S15 out here on some windy roads. I might close that. It's going to be a little bit loud. You can hear all the rocks just getting kicked up. The tyres are really, really sticky with the RS71 RS. So on wastegate pressure, about 200. <laughs> what do you reckon, man? Oh, do you think it's cool? Or? I'm, getting, I'm getting stuck to the seat, man. <laughs> so hard to hold the camera. Oh, good, man. You're doing really good. Feel free to be in the shot. Like, you can swing it around if you like. It's getting a bit hot. Oh, man. This is gang so quickly, man. <laughs> so, this is still just wastegate. And I think something about the Sylvia chassis in general, whether it's a 13, 14, even a 15. You don't need that much power to have a lot of fun and I think that's just something that kind of resonates with me. You don't have to be doing an absurd amount of speed to be enjoying this car. And at the end of the day, this car weighs literally nothing. Let's go to low boost. This is about 250 kilowatts of power at the rear wheels. This car also has the added bonus of having 33 GDR Brembo brakes at the front and the rear. So it's really, really good in terms of stopping power, but when you step on it... Oh my lord. I've kind of got a newfound appreciation for this car. It's completely different in the street. Admittedly, on the street, it's pretty difficult to drive. The bumps are a little bit roofless. The whole car kind of hops around. But when you're on it, this thing is sick. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm actually kind of blown away because it's totally different. I live pretty close to the city and as a result, I don't really get the opportunity to take this car out to these windy roads. And I guess having the first shakedown, it's kind of refreshing to know that it's a lot better out here, <laughs> admittedly. I mean, it's no daily driver for me, so it kind of is good in that sense. But what are your thoughts, Theo? I'll swing the camera around to you. What do you reckon, man? Man, that was the most fun experience I've had in my life. Oh, man, I'm so glad to hear that. So you've never been in a 15. What about like a fast car in general? Because this S15 is not quick, yeah. in my opinion. <laughs> Honestly, like other than this car and mine, the only other cars, sports cars I've been in is my uncle's RX-7. He's got an FC. And my, that mate's, is sick. my mate's R33. Uh, which, admittedly, the R33 is pretty scary <laughs> as well. Oh, it is. Does he go um, sideways in that car and all that? Not yet. He, gets, okay. he needs to get it tuned up first. Okay. But once he does, yeah, that thing's going to be crazy. <laughs> Gangster, man. Yeah, all these Nissans, honestly, they just did it so well back in the 90s. So it's kind of a shame that they don't do it like they do back then. But honestly, let's hope the 400Z is a good car, right? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> or maybe, hopefully, they make a new Silvio as well. But... Let's continue on with this first drive in Shakedown. I'm having such a blast. And guys, we're still only in low boost. Focus RS, Mark 3, sick car. But I'm kind of scared because the S15 has quite a fragile, they call it a glass gearbox with the six speed. So I'm often never even in high boost. And that is 316 kilowatts. This car is tuned to E85. It's got some HKS coilovers. Every single arm has been done so that it handles a whole lot better, but still, in my opinion, it is a little bit on the soft side. The dampening isn't really as good compared to other coilovers that I've driven on. I think they're about 10 years old, so definitely due for a change-up in the future. There are a few 
rattles in terms of the interior trim, as you'd expect from an old Nissan. For what it is, a neat little four cylinder package. It's pretty cool. Jesus. Gee. <laughs> oh man, this thing is fun. I have got so many more plans for this car. I think, honestly, for me, the car kind of speaks for itself. Really stay straight. <laughs> oh my god damn that is pretty sick. Alright, the S15 is parked. This might be the last place you see the car. I'm sure the car will be fine. You reckon it will be alright? <laughs> Fingers crossed that isn't going to be the case, but let's go guys, let's go, let's jump in the RX-8. So, do you drive this car pretty hard? Or? Um, look, sometimes, it's a daily driver, so I try to keep it in reasonable condition. I mean, it still looks really good. It looks really, really happy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that's gonna like lie. a Mazda train at this point. <laughs> yeah, no, it's sick. Man. Is, that, is that how it's meant to sound? <laughs> I spoke too soon. Oh man, this is so cool! There we go. Okay, never ever been in an RX-8. Wow, first thing I noticed was the Bose speakers. You know about the butterfly, I mean, not the, what are they called? The, the butterfly doors, butterfly the suicide doors. doors. Yeah, the suicide doors, there we go. Yeah, on the rear, yeah? Yeah, we've got suicide doors. That is guy, yeah. sick. That is super cool. And I can see it's very similar to a 350Z. It's a 2006. It doesn't okay. look that outdated, you know? Yeah, I think it looks pretty down good. But yeah. let's see how it goes out here. So, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tio is actually a resident expert out here. So, <laughs> honestly, guys, I'm literally a newbie. I'm kind of scared now, to be honest. Sure. I think jumping in a stranger's, uh, sorry, not to call you a stranger, but like yeah, jumping into somebody else's car that you don't really know. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's a little bit uh, concerning because you just don't know their skill level. Yeah, no, that's true, that's true. But you know what? I've got a lot of trust in this car here. Yeah. We should be good. We should Hopefully, be. we'll come back in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> as loud as your car. Oh man, that handles really good though. Yeah. What coil levers do you have? These are stock. Everything on You're this car joking. is all stock. It's um, one of the best things about this car is wow. its mechanical suspension. It's like Mazda had this obsession with trying to make the most balanced car for the price. Wow. And I think they've done well because and a lot of the times people even say it's just an MX-5 with a rotary. That's all it really is. I mean, it kind of looks like one as well. Yeah, exactly right. Like, you look at it from the front, you know. <laughs> Boogies. Yeah. Uh, I was hitting nine and a half thousand RPM. That was nine and a half. Yeah. It doesn't even make a squeak. Literally. Oh my god. What? It just—it's so happy to run. It's crazy. Wow. It feels like the motor is not strained or stressed at all, which is a testament to the rotary power. Because, well. Yeah, it just revs. Jumping from the S15, I think immediately from its stock form, feels really quite good, man. Yeah, like uh, ready, ready to go. Like the car's just ready to track. It's it's one of those cars. Like the same with the MX5. This is planted. This is planted as hell. Yeah, there's like no body to it at all. <laughs> and I think being that it's NA, you get a real chance to play with the power band and apply yeah. it through the corner. Oh my god. Oh my god. Crazy! It literally stays so planted. I can't believe this car stopped. Oh no way! Oh, just make it quick. Just quick. That was sick. <laughs> Ten thousand RPM. What? <laughs> that was a little bit more than that, right? Or no? Oh, from my angle, okay. Yeah, so it was just, that is... just, uh, I was thinking nine, probably say 9,800, and I was very close to 10. That is wild. 
Okay, guys. Looks so like that's true. Still here. S15 is still here. Hurrah! That was probably the scariest, scariest ten minutes of my life being <laughs> in uh, Theo's car and having the S15 parked in the middle of nowhere. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much a wrap of the first shakedown of the S15. This has pretty much turned into a little bit of a toge battle with the RX-8 and Tio's beast of a daily driver as well. Awesome little car, man. Thank you so much for helping me. Anytime, man. Honestly, it means a lot. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. In the comments below, tell me what you think about the S15, how it drives, anything that you reckon that I should do to the car moving forward. Feel free to let me know as well. And in the comments, be sure to let me know what your thoughts are on the RX-8. Definitely a very, very underrated and slept on car. So guys, as well as that, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.